Westlaco residents are saying the city didn't prepare enough in order to prevent the flooding and the damages to their homes. CBS4 Santiago Caicedo spoke with one Westlaco man who has gathered fellow residents and is now asking for the resignation of a city leader. The fact stands that we were not prepared. Israel Coronel of Westlaco went before city leaders last week asking why the city didn't do enough to prevent the amount of flooding seen in June. And as you look at the responsibility where the buck stops, it stops with the city manager who is a hired employee to do a job and his performance was less than poor. Coronel started a Facebook group called Make Westlaco Drain Again and he, along with hundreds of Westlaco residents, signed a petition to ask for the resignation of Westlaco city manager Mike Perez. I saw the petition because I was upset. Julio Aldez is another person who added their name to the petition. The people who actually are affected by the flood are too busy trying to assess the damage and doing damage control. Valdez says her mother Angelita Valdez's home had severe damage to floors and walls. As of today, debris and what used to be flooring pile up at the curb and in the yard. These pictures given to us by Julie of her mother's home shows water seeping through the floors and flooding her home. Basically, she was um, trapped in her home. Um, and she had to go. She didn't have any food or anything because they hadn't prepared for this flood. CBS4 reached out to the city manager, Mike Lopez. He declined a comment on the petition asking for his resignation. Yeah. Right here, there's a d drainage ditch back here. It's, full of, it's filled up with trees. You know, they're obviously, they're not being kept up. Coronel says the biggest problem was the drainage canals in the city, which have not been maintained. Instead, overgrown grass and trees grow where water should be allowed to flow. And when there's negligence on behalf of city officials, we have to hold them accountable. Coronel says he will continue to speak up for those he says suffered most during the floods. In Westlaco with Complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS4 Valley Tonight. According to preliminary assessments from FEMA in June, the flooding last month caused $100 million worth of damage valley-wide.